Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary, and uh, today we're going to talk about a utility in Windows called msconfig. Uh, msconfig is a, it's, a, it's a great utility that allows you to control what happens at startup on your computer and even more than that. It's, gonna, it's really a great way to, to take control over things that happen when your computer turns on and starts up. Right. It, let me ask you this. When you got your computer, it was pretty fast, wasn't it? And as time went on, doesn't it seem like things have slowed down a little bit? A lot of times what happens is you'll download a program or you'll install a program and leave a little gift in your system tray. And basically it's a little helper program or a little program that's always running in the background so if for instance you need to read a PDF document, it's there and it's ready to go. Well you don't really need to have that running all the time. That program would probably be better off loading as needed. And msconfig is going to let you take control of that. In fact, as far as we know, this is the single best way to speed up your computer. I mean, you can go from a sluggish computer that's hardly working to something that feels and looks and acts like it's brand new. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run through msconfig and, and all of its different options and just show you on the computer the different things that are at your disposal that you can change to make your computer start up a little bit faster. All right, let's turn to the computer and we'll take a look. All right, here we are. Let's go to the start menu. And uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is get msconfig running. Now, since we're in Windows 7, I can just type in this little search box, msconfig, and hit enter, and it's going to bring up my system configuration screen. If you're in Windows 7, you'll have to hit the run item under the start menu and type in msconfig, but it's the same command either way. All right, here we are in our system configuration. It looks pretty innocent here. The first screen that you, we come up to is just the general screen. It tells you, uh, uh, you know, it gives us a startup selection of what, you know, what's going on here. Um, right now it's set at normal startup. Once we make some changes, it's going to go to a selective startup. Let's go over to the boot screen. This gives us some options. Um, right now it's telling us that we're going to boot to Windows 7. It's the default OS, there's nothing else on here, so that's really cool. Um, that's all we need there. We can also go to the boot options and we can actually safe boot and we have some options under safe boot that we could do, either minimal, alternate, shell, etc, etc. We're going to uncheck that because we don't want to safe boot, we just want to take a look at this. Um, the next tab is the services tab. Now this is where uh, we can start doing some optimization here. First thing we want to do when we're messing around in the services tab is to hide all Microsoft services. Generally speaking, we want all the Microsoft services to run when Windows starts. So we're going to go ahead and check that. They're all hidden now. And now let's take a look at what we have left. Over here we have our services. We have an Adobe version QCS3. It's probably something for Photoshop. Uh, we have this ID string, whatever the heck that is, from Apple Computer, that probably has something to do with uh, QuickTime, I would guess. And we can go ahead and uncheck some of these. That we, if we know what it is, we can go ahead and uncheck it. Uh, the FlexNet license service from Acreso Software, no idea. Let's go ahead and uncheck those. That looks like something that uh, is probably a reminder. Uh, if you're not comfortable with what you're looking at, don't uncheck it. But if you are, if you have a pretty good idea what it is, uh, game console service from Wild Tangent. Okay, we're not playing games on here. Uh, we're certainly not hooking a console up to it, so I'm thinking that we can probably uncheck that. Uh, there's some other things in here. There's a backup schedule for Nero. Since we're not using Nero backup, I'm not worried about having its scheduler running. Uh, same thing here with the NTI one. Uh, but as you can see, you know, if you're going through here, you can take a look at it. And if something in here looks like something that you don't need, go ahead and uncheck it. Um, but that's the services tab. Now we're going to go over to the startup tab. And this is going to be very similar to the services tab. The startup tab is all the programs though that are actually running when you start your computer. This is where you can really get some speed, uh, speed increases here. And if you look down this list, there are a lot of different programs that start when the computer starts. Every single one of these has to be loaded. Every single one of them is going to eat up some memory. And the more memory it eats up, the less there is for us to do our regular computing stuff. And a lot of these programs are not necessarily needed. Just because I uncheck something here doesn't mean that program is unavailable to me anymore. It just means it's not running in the background waiting uh, on my beck and call. Uh, for instance, let's take a look down here. There is uh, here's QuickTime, for instance. Now that's sitting there just waiting to be run. Now if I go to a website that requires QuickTime, the QuickTime services uh, or the QuickTime program is going to go ahead and load. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, it might take an extra second or two if I uncheck this box, but I think that's a good trade-off because now it's not running all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. Um, the Google Update, that's probably for the 
uh, Google toolbar that we have installed. I might leave that one checked. Uh, let's see here. Norton Online Backup. Well, we're not uh, running Norton on this computer, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because we don't need it. Um, Adobe Acrobat. Here's another one. Everyone probably has Acrobat installed to read PDFs. Probably don't need it to be running in the background. It'll come up as needed when you open a PDF file. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. Again, this is very similar to the Services tab. Just kind of go through here. If there's programs in there that you recognize that you don't think you need to have running all the time, go ahead and uncheck them. Um, this touch portal is another one that comes up. Some of this stuff is included with a computer. If you have a lot of programs, you just bought a computer and you have a lot of extra programs that come up when it runs and you're like, oh, I don't need any of this stuff. MS config, go in here, find them, uncheck them and, uh, and they, they won't bother you anymore. Let's take a jump over to our final tab called the tools tab. This, think of this as a quick way to get to different areas of your computer. Like if I wanted to look at system information, I can just click this, hit launch and it'll pop up my system information for me real quick. It gives me all the information I could ever want to know about this computer. So, and there's probably a couple dozen different uh, s tools in here that you can uh, launch and check out at your leisure. And once all my settings are done, I'm going to go ahead and apply and OK. It's going to, uh, and that's pretty much it. From here on out, all I have to do is hit start, shut down, and uh, reboot the computer. And when it comes up, all those items that we've unchecked will no longer be running. There you go. So there you have it. Um, working in MS Config is not nearly as scary as it would seem. Uh, you know, as we showed you, you can go through there and, and make some changes to really help speed up your computer. Um, and again, if, if you come across anything in there that you don't understand or something that you don't know you should mess with, probably best that you don't touch it. But if you want to do some research, feel free. You can go online, you can search for these processes or these startup programs, try to find out what they do and make the, an educated uh, decision on, on what you should do if you want to shut them down or not. Right, and uh, I guess that's about it. That's a, it's, MS Config is a super way to speed up your computer, so you're going to have to give it a try. Uh, remember to stop by our website if you're not already there watching this. It's worldstart.com. Uh, if you're not on our Computer Tips newsletter, you need to sign up. We have a lot of great tips. A lot of these great videos are featured right in the newsletter, so make sure you sign up for our newsletter. Check out our Facebook page and all the good stuff we have going on over there. So uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.